Hey, Lisa Moore, the classic conservative here, coming to you today, this day in May, to talk to you about all the stuff going on with the election, uh, the convention, social media, and all kinds of stuff. We know what's really important is that Kate Middleton wore the same dress she wore at her child's christening years ago. So we all know that that's what's really important to the media. But now let's get what to what's important to us. We as classic conservatives, we keep being blamed for Republicans losing elections. In truth, I was one of those who voted for Ross Perot. Wasn't too happy with George H.W. Bush. He was no Reagan. He was not Reagan. Other than that, I have voted the Republican ticket since 1980 other than that election. And I'm here to tell you that classic conservatives are not the problem. The problem is we have an election unlike anything I've seen in my adult lifetime, because I have been voting since I've legally been an adult, okay? We have an election with a man on trial for fraud and a woman being investigated by the FBI for basically treasonous acts as Secretary of State under President Obama. How is that a choice? How is that something that is going to serve this nation? Oh, don't worry about any of that. And for people who say they don't know what Donald Trump is going to do, or how he is going to govern, but we know how Hillary is going to do and govern is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, we have decades, over four or five decades of Donald Trump on audio, visual, magazines, newspapers, pictures, books that he's written. We know Donald Trump. I'm sorry. We know more about Donald Trump than we ever knew about Obama. And in reality, we knew enough about Obama that he didn't need to be anywhere in the White House. If you disagree with me on that, put it in the comments below. I want to hear you say that we didn't know anything about Obama, because we did. But we know so much about Donald Trump, that we cannot say that we don't. We just can't. And every day things seems to get worse. It doesn't matter what he says, what he does, it just gets worse. Especially for those who are classic conservatives like me. You can make fun of me all you want to. Go ahead. I don't care. Because I believe that government's main job is not to provide universal this or universal that. It can't. It can't even take care of our soldiers when they come home from war and the battlefield. We don't even do that. We can't even keep me with all the rules and laws and regulations and licenses from getting food poisoning. The government hadn't even stopped that. Anyway, just think on that for a little bit. The most other thing that I think is most interesting in social media today is YouTuber Pat Condell, one of the most outspoken atheists on YouTube who's been around longer than I was even around on YouTube, or maybe we came around the same time, I don't know, but he's got tons of followers. He's a diehard progressive liberal who's very anti-religious, a religion of any kind, but he has been on an anti-Muslim kick for a few years, and so he finally has decided and understood that liberal progressives are responsible for the Muslim invasion of Europe and the UK and the rest of the West. Welcome to the party, Mr. Condell. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party that understands that progressive liberalism is against your favorite thing.
free speech. Speaking of free speech, I hope that you listen to me again and have enjoyed this broadcast and will be with us next time on The Classic Conservative, and we will see you then and there.